Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to talk about cheap silver. Uh, as many of you know, I have a great local coin shop that frequently sells foreign coins at spot price. Uh, none of these were bought from there, uh, and they were all bought for melt, uh, melt value. Uh, and so I want to tell you how I did that, and maybe you can do it too. So I went to other uh, coin shops in my area. Um, I asked them, I was looking specifically for the uh, Mexican 20 centavos uh, that I'm trying to fill a roll of, I told them what I was doing, and I asked if they had a melt bin. Um, now there's a pretty good chance that if you have a local coin shop that they're buying silver constantly throughout the week. Um, and a lot of times it's, you know, uh, jewelry, chains, silverware, coins with holes punched in them, stuff that they wouldn't, you know, put in a flip and sell. There's also more than likely going to be a nice big uh, pile of foreign silver coins that aren't really worth them grading and putting out. Uh, it's probably not their specialty. They probably deal more with US coins anyway. Um, so if they don't know what it is and they don't think it's worth looking up, they'll probably just throw it in the melt bin and then they'll uh, send it off to a refinery. So you can save them the trip or ship to the refinery. Uh, you'll probably pay them a little bit more than the refinery would because the refinery will pay them a little bit under melt. Um, but it does help to have something specific that you're looking for. In my case it was the 20 centavos and I just walked in and asked them if they had a melt bin I could look through. And they did and then I found a bunch of coins in there and I looked up the actual silver weight for all the coins um, and they charged me melt. And this is about six or so ounces worth of silver bought for melt value um, with nothing more than knowing the right question to ask. So I recommend giving it a try at your local coin shop. Hopefully you have some local coin shop. I know some people don't. Um, but if you do, uh, it's, worth a ch it's worth a try to ask. Um, and while I just show off some of these, I'm going to do a couple shout outs. Uh, the first one is for Coins Unwrapped. Uh, he has uh, reached 500 subscribers. He's uh, one of the really great guys who um, makes a very significant effort to help out new stackers um, and new YouTube channelers. Um, he's a great guy. Congratulations on 500. Um, I hope the contest goes amazingly, and I would like to enter. Uh, and then the next one is for uh, Deep Digger Duo. They hit 100 recently. Um, they are, as you can probably guess from the name, uh, metal detectors, um, but they have a pretty great metal detecting video up, um, which is the video to respond to. So I'll have uh, links to both of them in the comments. Um, I will also have a link, if you don't have Ebates, to Ebates. Um, it will be through my referral, because I've never actually referraled anybody before through Ebates. Um, that one. Uh, but uh, what Ebates is, is it's uh, free to sign up. You just give them an email. Uh, I gave them a dummy email in case they spammed it, but they didn't. It gets virtually no spam at all. Um, and they give you uh, cash back on online shopping purchases. So if you do a lot of online shopping purchases, like I know a lot of us uh, silver collectors do, um, you can get, usually it's only 1%. Um, but it's nice to get a little check in the mail from time to time, and their check's cash, um, and you get extra money for signing up and extra money for referring. Um, and then the very last thing I'll say, because I'm getting towards the end of this, um, on this subject, uh, is one last shout out um, for CoinKeeper, who is still working towards 2000. Um, so let's get her up there. Okay, so that's a good look at the stuff I bought for Melt, um, just by asking if they have a Melt bin. Of course, I do still have my awesome local coin shop. By the time I bought six ounces from other places uh, and got around to them, uh, silver had started creeping up, so I didn't get a ton of that from them, but I did get something else. And I'll need to make some room for that. Enter the goats. So they had bought off someone else. Um, they didn't order them in. 
uh, a bunch of Australian lunar goats, and they were selling them for uh, their regular ounce Australian silver price, so the same thing I'd pay for a kook. So I got seven one ounce lunar goats for $22 a piece, which is the lowest price I've ever seen on a goat, even when they just came out, I think they were at least 25. Um, even if you bought two halves, um, I think the best you could do for an ounce worth of goats was uh, about 24, unless you bought a huge bulk. So I was really excited to find some for 22 a piece. I bought as many as I could get my hands on. I didn't get all of them. Some other people got some. But I got seven, and I'm super stoked about that. Um, so that is from the awesome local coin shop. Uh, also from the awesome local coin shop, in case you don't hate me quite enough yet, uh, they do drawings and I won two drawings. Um, one, they do little weekly drawings, uh, and I got a proof quarter set from 2002. Uh, not silver, just regular proof quarters. Um, but, you know, a nice bonus for free. And they have a quarterly big drawing, and this is the one I need help on because I don't really know what I've got here. Um, to me, this looks like an ordinary V-nickel. Not in the best of shape, doesn't seem to be anything super special about it that I can tell, but for whatever reason it was in the big drawings category along with, you know, like a little uh, plaque that had a Morgan dollar and a Peace dollar in it. So I don't know what I've got here. Let me know if there's a reason why this should be, should have been in the big drawings category. Um, because I'm just a little confused on this one. Um, if it is just a V-nickel, that's fine. It was free and I like it but uh, I'm just a little curious, so let me know what you think of that, and if you know anything about it that I don't, which I'm sure someone out there knows quite a bit about it that I don't, but... Uh, jumping back to cheap silver for a second, of course everybody knows these, uh, the old coin roll hunting uh, 240 percenters, uh, both in pretty rough shape, but uh, both purchased for face value, which you can never really complain about that, right? So there's those. Two more things to show. Since I've been picking up a bunch of the Mexican 20 centavos, or at least as many as I could find, um, I decided it might be nice to have some uh, some really uh, high quality pieces laying around. Um, so here's an AU. Uh, I got a little discount for it. I got it for three, since I bought about three ounces worth of uh, junk silver out of the melt bin from the guy. Uh, he gave me a little discount on this one, since that was what I was uh, originally looking for. It's nice to have one of those laying around. And then finally, uh, I am really interested in the uh, the UK Lunar Series. Um, I had a bad experience with the horses. Um, I went through eight of Silver Towns trying to find one without any spots and no luck. Uh, I purchased three more off of eBay. The guy said they had no spots. They showed up. They had spots. They're going back. But, uh, so this is the first one that I'm actually hanging on to from that series. It's an MS-69, uh, Year of the Sheep. But I would like to pick up some proof and non-proof versions of those coins because I really do like the series. I think it's a good series. Um, and it is just starting, so it's a great time to jump into it. And that's about all I have to say. Um, if anybody has a proof sheep, um, let me know if it suffers from the spotting issue that the horses had, um, or if anybody has an idea on how to get an unspotted horse, I'd appreciate that one too for the proofs. Um, but I am keeping an eye out for these, uh, both proof and non-proof at good prices, because I would like to collect uh, at least a few pieces, um, one to keep, a few to sell from that whole series. And that's about all I have to say, everyone. Um, I think silver's not in the best buying place right now, so a lot of this was bought back when it was around 16 or under, um, and right now I'm just kind of hanging on and coin roll hunting. Um, that brings the video pretty close to 10 minutes. Let's try to keep it under. I hope everybody uh, has great plans for the weekend. Um, I'm just finishing up some pretty uh, brutal classes, and then I'm going to go have some fun. So. 
Uh, have a great weekend, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.